What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to be continuing my Overpower Level 8 Sniper Zero playthrough. Now I am cautiously optimistic about Round 5 here, because I do know that it starts with an opportunity to stack Critical Ascension, so we'll see how that works out for us. Um, hopefully well, you know what I mean, but um, it seems like it should work out pretty decently. Um, the round starts with two or three Skeleton Halflings, and when you kill two of them... Um, everything starts to get a little bit wild. So, I'm only going to kill one of them and then attempt to get as many stacks of Critical Ascension as I can. I'm going to use that weapon instead of the Shock Lyuta. I'm going to drop the Fire Pimpernel and put on this for stacking. Now, I guess I'll use the Corrosive Bone of the Ancients instead of uh, any other type because it should be fairly helpful. Alright, so, there we go. Now we'll go ahead and signal this to start. Like I said, we only want to kill one of these because they are uh, the signal to start everything else. And I noticed it's when you kill two of them that everything else starts spawning. So um, that's why we want to only kill one of them to start. And so now we've got one of them killed, and that's a good thing. Now I want to lead these other two right down in this little area so that I can stack Critical Ascension off of them. But I need them down here for them to do that, so... Well, we got one of them coming down the hill. We need both of their behavior kind of synced up. Come on, little guy. All right, so now they should be both running at me. Is that correct? Nope, they're both axing at me or swording. All right, cool. Put that there. Hopefully they run to that. Perfect. Now they should be ready. Oh, this one, you little bitch. You were supposed to stay right there, you little sucker. All right, so we'll try to get this one back over here. Where is the other one? Oh, he's up there. Damn it. Come here, stupid. Both of you, this way. I just want this to be as efficient as possible. I guess I should put on my chaotic neutral. Alright, perfect. So if they're both right there, I can come right here and they shouldn't... Okay, this is good. No, damn it, game. Come on. All right. Hold on. It's taking me just a minute to get this set up. Come on now. Where are you going? Stop that. Why would you do that? There. Both of you run there. Oh my god. Whatever. Hopefully this will be good enough. Why? Game? Damn! Okay, come on. Okay, this is finally what I need. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to start the stacking process now. Okay, so that was massively aggravating to start, but it was a necessary irritant in order to get the maximum amount of critical ascension that we can. Um, theoretically, this this round is going to be really damn tough. Um, it's wave or round five. It has five waves. Um, obviously, in this particular circle of slaughter, there is a round six. So, um, this isn't the end. But it should still be difficult, so um, definitely want to take the necessary precautions and, uh, you know, do well. Took me just a little bit to get these two guys' AI synced up, and that was a shame, but um, probably made the start of this video really boring. However, um, like I said, I found it necessary to do um, because this is going to be, presumably, a very difficult challenge. So we don't want to be without our best um, power-ups and stuff. So, yeah. Alright. So, I'll get a, uh, another critical hit here, and then um, activate this. Now, um, I can't really mess around as much now and uh, try to get them in the perfect position. So, where they are right now is fine, and I'll just dodge their axes with or swords, whatever they're throwing. 
with uh, you know my movement and everything instead of with a little pipe. And so I would like to get above 200 stacks of critical ascension. It looks like we'll be able to do that with ease. Um, cool. So now this one's all pissed off. All right, so um, try to get up to around 220 or so here. All right, so now that is good enough. Um, all right, I'm gonna pick that up, pick that up, and pick that up. Now we gotta kill these guys. Um, unfortunately, neither of them, uh, neither of them dropped a uh, deal of sniper ammo for us, but that's okay. So now there are going to be a bunch of little halflings coming. Have to be a little bit careful about how that I choose to take these guys out. Because um, we are so low on ammo. And the game is not giving me any, which is cute. Okay, so I have no ammo. Um, okay, now I got a little bit more. Cool. Now we have plenty of ammo. Okay, so now we got to kill this crystal. I think that stops all the uh, corrosive damage. Oh, it does. That's awesome. Okay, so that's all. Obviously, kind of aggravating how these guys uh, move me so much and stuff, but um, that's okay. Knock them out like that for the time being. Okay, cool. Dang, these things, they don't stop. There's a ton of them. How hilarious. You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. Alright, so we are getting closer. Um, oh, got a skeleton mage dead there. That was awesome. Getting closer to the end of these guys, it feels like. Oh, another skeleton mage down here. Not cool. Awesome. Got him. That's why it helps to have this much critical ascension. Ah, really? Three skeleton mages, huh? Alright, so at least we got him death marked so we can kind of see where he might be. Perfect. And I got a critical hit. That will preserve my critical ascension just a little bit. So that's really nice. Avoiding all of these very numerous uh, spike pit traps right now. Got to kill these things without them knocking me into them. Which is uh, a challenge within itself. So uh, we'll kill this one first. And then I'll go after this one here. Need to get it slagged, I guess. Alright. A couple more hits. Ouch. Okay, so one of those transfusion trails came to me and got me at least above health gate, so that's good. Okay, cool. Still doing all right on ammo as well. So what do we have coming over here? Night champion, huh? Orcs, it sounds like, too. Ooh. Um, sapper orcs. Ooh, and more skeleton mages. Alright, so, um, we died there. Only so much you can do when the skeleton mage is right on you like that. Um. Gotta find this thing and kill it. Perfect. Good. Okay. Your eyes deceive you. An illusion fools you all. I move for the kill. I'm thinking maybe I should have left a uh, dwarf zerker alive here. 
Wow, I love how that thing still targets me even though I was in deception. That's fun. All right, again, uh, just going all out to try to kill those stupid things. There's not much I can do about those skeleton mages. They're going to kill me sometimes. So as, sh as shameful as it is to go in to fight for your life, um, if it means I can kill a skeleton mage, so be it. Okay. So we're losing critical ascension very, very quickly here. This kind of sucks. All right, stop the bleeding momentarily, I guess. Not for long. All right, definitely avoiding that damned skeleton. That's for certain. Um, so now it looks like we're probably going to want to uh, restack Critical Ascension if we get a chance because it's definitely been extremely beneficial thus far, but um, now it's gone. So we'll need to be careful, you know. Um, I'm going to knock that guy's head off and then hopefully he'll blow up over there. All right, so um, this dec desecrated ne uh, necromancer heal you need to die. All right. Ah, gotta love it. Gotta love it. I was uh, right on target to uh, kill that uh, damn skeleton, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, then my aim got thrown off because of these archers up here. So. Um, We'll need to uh, figure out something to do about those. All right. So um, I would try. I'm going to try to leave this uh, dwarf alive. Basically, um, we'll see if we can kill the spectral archer. Now, if the dwarf is surviving after this longbowman is dead, we're going to get critical ascension off of him. So we'll watch the red dots here. Okay, so not quite yet, but still worth leaving that Dwarf Zerker alive to me. He's not incredibly dangerous, um, and he's a perfect candidate for critical ascension stacking if we can ever get him alone. So, um, because of that, I will leave him doing his thing for at least a couple, couple uh, you know, pseudo waves of enemies here. A couple sets of spawns. All right, so we are getting extremely low on uh, grenade ammo. And I think the game is kind of being forced to wait um, sniper drops for me at the moment because I am getting low on sniper ammo as well. So I'm going to use this relic real quickly here to get to max ammo. So that hopefully... Oh gosh, I thought that was a uh, spike trap that was opening up. So that hopefully, uh, you know, as we kill things here, they'll be more encouraged to drop grenade ammo than sniper ammo, which I am... In desperate need of so much so that I'm going to uh, use that to uh, just <laughs> but then that happened so that was uh, ended up being entirely fruitless uh, but basically I wanted to uh, pick up that grenade mod that was on the ground so that I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't just straight up run out of grenade ammo there but now I'm out so um, that's interesting okay so we will uh, kind of figure out exactly how we're going to deal with uh, this adept squire, the badass skeleton, and more. The badass skeleton is definitely indeed badass. So um, hopefully we can get some pillars between us and this dwarf zerker that we're trying to nurture. Um, but at the moment we have zero transfusion trails, so we'll need to be extremely careful. Hopefully we can figure out a way to, uh, damn it, he got unslagged. Of course he did. All right, so he's in killing blow range, so next deception, I can definitely kill him. All right. All right, so now we have a few more. Um... This dwarf is somehow still alive, so it's time for him to die, I guess. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, that that was pretty predictable. Okay, 
So um, that was very poor play on my part. Um, I need to kill this one up top. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they start the next waves and stuff while enemies from the last rounds are still alive or the last waves are still alive. That is not something that I'm a fan of. So, um, hmm. Well, there are three of them here, so it's dangerous, you know, um, but if they'll all stay down there, I can stack at least some critical ascension, which would be very, very useful. I'm afraid to kill too many of them. I'm going to try to kill one. Hopefully that doesn't cause, uh, something else to spawn. If they'll just stay down there, I can get critical ascension off of them. I don't know. Um, unfortunately, there's no cover down here right now. And so that's kind of scary. Um, I shouldn't have actually done this, come this way, I don't think. But um, whatever. Let's see what happens if we kill one of them. Probably a dumb move, but hopefully with two, the next spawn of enemies won't start yet. All right, so that makes us a lot safer, actually. Significantly safer. Um, what we need to do, though, is... Oh, my gosh. Um... Definitely make sure we have enough grenades for one. And for two, um, pick up any of the sniper ammo that's up here before we start stacking. Um, so now we have, oh gosh, now we have plenty of sniper ammo. Um, and we have a decent amount of grenades. So what we need to do is drop some stuff and then get critical ascension. But, I mean, the two dwarves are... I wish there were like wooden slats and stuff here right now, but there are not. So I'm going to drop what I think I can drop here. Um, I'm actually going to drop this and this. And I don't know if we want to go fire or corrosive for what's left. We'll go fire just on just on the chance. I don't know. Um, probably a dumb move, but maybe not. Okay. So where are both of our dwarves? We got one up top on this level. That's not any good at all. And then another one's down there. So... Um, I would like them to be at the same level. So, use melee right there to uh, kind of adjust them. But this one wants to come back up here. Of course he does. Um, I guess it would make sense to activate that while I'm waiting here. Um, oh my gosh, please don't die. Forget how long deception takes to uh, come back when you don't have on the uh, Bone of the Ancients. And have on the Stockpile Relic. I got myself in a bad position there. Okay. So, let's look at where we are. So, I mean, at least he's way over there. Damn, antagonist, you piece of shit. I would so trade the antagonist slagball utility for nothing. I would, I would absolutely get rid of that. That is a feature that hurts me more than it ever helps me. But the antagonist is otherwise still such a powerful shield that um, I find it irreplaceable. So, hopefully this guy doesn't jump up here. He may, but I'm going to start stacking now. I think this is as good as I'm going to get. The other one's really far away and isn't doing damage to me yet, so um, I'm just going to get it off of this guy here while I have the chance. Awesome. Over 100 stacks here. I mean, that's, that's awesome. So um, now I'm going to uh, go get this here and then try to get back to where I was. Oh, I wanted to get that uh, execute off, but I didn't manage that. If I can get around this corner, we're good. Okay, I think we're golden. Where is this little guy? All right, there he is. So as many critical hits as we can get off of him, um, or even this guy, crap, he finally jumped up here. Finally wised up. Okay, um, we'll try it from here then. Okay. Even if they both want to sit right there, that's perfect for me can't have them getting too much closer all right so over 200 stacks of critical ascension here in just a brief period of time um so we're probably good i think this is more than enough critical ascension to make it through so i'm going to uh going to oh thank you slowing spikes um i appreciate that i'm going to uh come over here get the other gear that we need and uh then we'll try to finish this round so that sniper, that calm, and that relic. And now, where are these guys at? All right. Maybe we could have taken it down to one there. Maybe I made that needlessly dangerous. Who knows? Oops. Definitely should have gone with the uh, corrosive bone, it looks like. Um, that's okay, though.
Oh gosh. All right, so um, need to get a critical hit somehow on some of these guys because our stacks are wa waning pretty quickly here. Um, but that's okay. Damn it, Longbowman. Sit still. Okay. So uh, use our massive critical ascension to get rid of this. Okay, cool. Oh, Dwarf Miner, you bitch. Alright, what do we have over here? Another Dwarf Zerker? Alright, stop the bleeding there as far as critical ascension loss goes. That's a good thing. Um, speaking of stopping things, we need to stop getting so low on ammo. So, um, oh good. I love the combination of slowing enemies and then a damned skeleton. That is really fun. Oh, and then that too? Okay, that's cool. Um, so now we need to get this. All right, so that's golden. Um, I need to hit this guy. All right, so that's good. Luckily, Killer is protecting us from the Skeleton Mage in some capacity at this moment in time, and so that's good. It might be Skeleton Mages, which would really suck. It's Skeleton Mages for certain. Okay, so cool. We'll try to get our health back. Um... And then we'll try to kill that last skeleton mage. Oh god. Um, brilliant. I love that the, the transfusion trails didn't come to me. That's fun. Okay. So now the next hit from this skeleton mage could very well kill me. So I need to use this incredibly slow moving uh, health regeneration thing. Um, but that's okay. It got us above health gate. So we're okay. We just need to kill this thing as quickly as we can. Perfect. And got a critical hit. That stopped the bleeding there for a moment. Um, Alright, I mean... Hopefully this last wave isn't as long as some of the other waves have been. But it might be. We'll try to do our best. Okay, where are we? Got something coming. Good, I was able to stop the bleeding there with that little guy. All right, these infernal skeletons are not fun to deal with. Um, hopefully I blew him up without his head coming off. All right, looks like it. Okay, so we'll watch the trap doors because um, that would be the worst thing to happen here at the uh, final portion of this. All right, so those were some good critical hits there. Oh wow, there's a dragon up in the air, That's that's bad. Okay, um, so that's fun. I didn't know that that was coming. Alright, so um, I'm going to try to hit this thing. I'm going to sacrifice. Probably dying here. Um, oh, wow. Died to that. Um, yikes. I need to uh, get some health and then figure out a way to kill that dragon. And this dragon, apparently. Okay, so we've got two dragons um, that both need to die, and I don't know how I'm going to kill them. Why? Why would you do that? Why? Oh my god. I had forgotten that this spawns in this. Um, that is just so incredibly stupid. I have a hard time understanding the rationale behind that. Okay, so that's okay. Um, sit still. Please. Oh, god damn it. Okay, come here. Alright, so cool. Um, that worked out really well, actually. So we need to uh, hit some critical hits on this one. The next time it's flying towards us. Alright, so um, we're doing some damage to it. I guess that's better than nothing. Um, now that we got the fire one dead, that's good. Sit still. Alright. I don't know why I keep switching to slag out of habit. 
All right, so that thing is so close to dead. If we can kill that, I think we can get through the round. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. I think that might be it for this. Damn it, I want all these guys to die. I should probably switch to this weapon. There we go. Oh, <laughs> to get pushed into the spike pit by these little skeletons would just be mind-numbing. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Um, so some more shit is spawning now. Um, shit that I wasn't expecting at all. Oh, good. I like how uh, the uh, fire damage over time is going to kill me. Come on. Damn! I had a follow-through bonus in everything. Game. Really? That kind of damage over time is just absurd. I mean, why? Why would you do something like that? Oh, I really fucked up against those big dragons. Um, that was my mistake, I guess. I don't know what I was doing. Should have just gone for the critical hits with the Lyuta. That was a terrible move. Okay. Alright, if we get rid of that thing. Oh my god. Alright, so, um, super low on grenade ammo. Um, I, I just, I hate those spikes. I absolutely despise them. I don't quite understand why those would need to be in the game. Please die. Oh my gosh, so now I have zero health. Oh my god. Um, I just, wow, if I die to this, I'm going to just lose it. Okay. Jesus. Why? Okay. Really? Because we got to have flaming skeletons. I need to put on this. Okay. Um, I have no grenade ammo. One grenade ammo. Okay. Where are we? It may be time to do this. Let's get some of these skeletons coming at me. Alright, so that helps. Um, the big one, I don't know if I can push him all the way. Oh, uh, I can. Okay, so that worked out. What? Did you get back up here? Go down. Stay down. Oh my god. Surely this is the end. Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, yikes. That, that was pretty fucking atrocious. We made it. Thanks to Critical Ascension. Which, by the way, sucks and is useless. It's a bad skill. Um, so, yeah. Another round complete. Now we only have the badass round, which I believe is just going to be ass the entire time all the way through. Um, but we'll see. Uh, um, I mean, round five is done. Rounds one through five are done. So that's something. That's a good thing, I guess. And we got the orc there. So now we have these last two quests from this DLC. Um, we'll get to those in another episode. 
As always, guys, I do thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd appreciate that as well. Otherwise, you know, like I said, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.